<clears throat> okay, now the last thing they do show you in this chapter is the concept of how to determine how to determine a sample size based on a confidence level. Now, the formula, at least one of the formulas they give you on how to calculate this sample size is n is equal to <clears throat> your z value times your sigma value divided by your margin of error squared. Okay? If you plug all that in, you can approximate a sample size. So to show you how that works, it's not difficult, is this is number 19 in your book. And it says a population is estimated to have a standard deviation of 10. So notice that's going to be sigma. It says we want to estimate the population mean within 2. Within 2 is going to be your error. And then they give you the 95% interval. It says how large of a sample is required. So, of course, it's, if it's sigma known, which it's, it is, and uh, we're looking at 95%, we know we're going to get a z-score that's 1.96. We know that sigma is given at 10, so you're going to multiply that by 10. And anytime in any of these problems, whenever they say within, within is always going to be your error, that's going to be 2. And then if you were just basically to plug all that in and square it, you're going to get n is equal to about 96.04. So to approximate a sample size, they always say round up you would say just use 97, okay? So, but this is the basic formula um, on how to get an approximation of how large of a sample should you be using to uh, get within, you know, using the factors of variability and your confidence levels. And this is the last part of the chapter.